here this question asks us how many grams of each gas is present in the mixture. So the way that we get at this here is by using our mole fraction. So we know that we have mole fraction of C um, C two eight six is going to be equal to the moles of C two eight six over the total number of moles. And if we want to find out the moles of C two eight six, we simply take our mole fraction which is C2H6 and multiply times the number of moles total. This here would give us the moles of C2H6. So from part B of the question, we were able to determine what our total number of moles was, which was 0 0.15. So the total moles is equal to 0 0.150 which is the total number of moles that we got, which was from part B of the equation. And from part A of the equation, we were able to determine our mole fraction, which is um, C2H6, which in this instance was 0 0.43423, which that answer came from part A. So if we take a 0 0.423 multiply that time our 0 0.150 this here which tells us the number of moles of ethane we have which would be 0 0.0635 moles if we know the moles of this then we can convert the moles of ethane into grams of ethane which would be 0 0.0635 C2H6. In order to get the number of grams, we know that for every one mole of this material, we have 30 grams of C2H6. C2H6 cancels out, and our answer would be in grams, which would be 1.91 grams of C2H6. So that's how we would get the number of grams of C2H6. To get the number of grams of the other one, we would do the same thing. We would have our mole fraction of CH4 is equal to the moles of CH4 over the total moles. We know that moles of CH4 would be equal to the mole fraction of CH4 times the total moles. From part A of the equation, we know what our mole fraction is, which is 0 0.577. From part B, we know what our total moles is, which is 0 0.150. If we take that, this gives us the moles of, of methane. We can take our moles of ethane and convert this into grams. For every uh, 16 grams of CH4, I have one mole of CH4. This is equal to 1.38 grams of CH4. Okay, so in this particular equation, you see how we built ourselves up. We went from the first part of the equation, which asked us to get our mole fractions. 
and then from the mole fractions in part B of the equation, it asks us to use the total number of moles. And then in part C of this equation, it asks us to find the number of grams. So you can see how all the material is kind of interplaying on each other. Once you know one thing, then you can use that information to find something else.